What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant, and today we're on a road trip to Birmingham, Alabama. I'm gonna be making a few pit stops. We're gonna stop at some Walmarts, maybe some dirt cheaps, maybe some pawn shops and kind of mix it up. We're looking at anything we can buy to resell on Amazon, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace. If this is your first time, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you're into reselling, making money, finding ways to save money by buying stuff at stores and then reselling it, or just you just like finding a good deal, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. I like that. Walk right in and I see the clearance sign right up there. Ninja Turtles action figures for nine. It's not bad. Sheet sets down here for 15. Ooh, we got a Lego set hidden back here. This is a newer one. That says 80 bucks, but that's like the normal price. So I don't know why that's back there. Sumo Bros for 19. I might have to grab these if I don't find anything else. That's not bad. Mario sets have been selling really well for me, so I might grab those. I probably am going to scan them just to see if the price is any better. Looks like we've got somebody else hunting for deals over here, too. Let's see. These guys for five is a little high, in my opinion. Uh, Batman's not really marked down. Got some Lego sets over here. Let's see. Ninjago set is 13. It was 20. That's okay. I don't know if I need more Ninjago sets, but I really like this Spider-Man set right here. It's 13 bucks, so it was 20. It's only seven bucks off, but I do think this is gonna be retired soon. So this is gonna get harder and harder to find, and Spider-Man has been really popular lately, so I might have to grab some of those. I really like that set. Got more Ninja Turtles up here. I'll see Michelangelo, Leonardo. I don't see Raphael, but which is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo is always my favorite. I always like the nunchucks the best. But uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite Ninja Turtle is. Monopoly, Star Wars, Star Wars toys. We've got some Star Wars stuff that's hidden apparently. Let's see. Lakitu Skyworld, 25. This is normally a $40 set, so I um, might have to grab this. Mandalorian brickheads all sorts of stuff. So it looks like you got some more Lego down there. Now I'm checking out some of these other toys here and these Cybertron toys are 35, normally 50. And I looked on Amazon and they're selling for 57. So it'd only be like a $6 profit, which six bucks is not really a great return on 35. So I'm probably gonna pass on those Megatrons. So far I've loaded up on a bunch of these Spider-Man No Way Home sets. I really like this set. Again, like I said, this is normally a $20 set. So each one of these is $7 savings. So unfortunately, I can't sell these right now, but I do think these are gonna be a good investment. So these would be a good pickup for personal or for investing purposes. I'm not for resale at the moment, but I do think they're a good set. The brickheads are pretty cool. Unfortunately, these brickhead boxes are very flimsy. And, you know, I can't really sell this on Amazon in brand new condition because this is more like like new because this is kind of beat up so not sure if i'm going to grab those apparently somebody's uh, honking a horn down there if you're interested in how to learn how to get ungated on lego to sell lego on amazon check out my ungating playlist up here i've got a bunch of videos teaching how to do that kind of stuff so i'm going to look a little bit more and see what else we can find also i think i'm going to try to Ooh, there's another lack of two. I think we need this one too. I think I'm gonna try to talk to a Walmart employee and see if maybe they can mark some of these down for me again. Sometimes it works, sometimes they're willing to mark stuff down just because when they have so much stuff and they just wanna get rid of it, they're willing to do additional discounts. You know, and in my opinion, it doesn't hurt to ask. So I am gonna find an employee and ask them if they can mark some stuff down for me additionally. Uh, if it works, great. If not, then that's fine because I'm back right where I started. Hey there. Hey, How are you doing today? All right. Um, I had a quick question. Is there something that can help me in the uh, clearance area? I can. Sometimes when they have a ton of like of the same thing, they're willing to like do additional discounts or anything like that. Um, I was wondering if you could check and see if you could like mark the price down or if it if it was possible to be marked down. Well, I can't do it. Okay. Um, the person that's in charge of the clearance, they would have to do it. Okay. And I'm not sure. Um, depending on when she marked it down first. Okay. Would you be able to like? I guess like check it and then see the last time it was marked down or anything like that. It just shows that it's on clearance. Okay, so it doesn't say like um, when when it could be marked down or if there's a price change available. Let me try this other app. Okay. Week 16 was when it was marked down. 
Okay. So I think anything extra will be up to the claim supervisor or the claim team. Okay. Um, yeah. would, is there a chance that person might be here today or not? She's not. Not here today. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, I'm just passing through anyways, and mm -hmm. I, I, I buy a lot of toys and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I figure if, if I was going to buy a bunch, maybe I could save a little bit of money. But um, right. if I can't, it's, it's okay. Yeah. So, well, all right. Well, thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. so. so I asked the young lady if she could mark stuff down for me. And unfortunately, she couldn't. She did check. I've had luck here before where they have marked stuff down, but she couldn't do it. And that's totally okay. Never hurts to ask, you know, always be polite, say thanks, be appreciative because I, you know, I do appreciate it. So anyways, I'm going to look a little bit more over here in the clearance section and then I'll check out the toys and then maybe we'll run over to electronics and see what else we can find. But just to kind of give you guys a recap of what we've got so far, I'm grabbing a bunch of these. These are only uh, seven bucks off, which honestly I think is a pretty good deal. So I'm going to grab a bunch of these. We've got some Super Mario sets back there. A couple of these Lakitu Sky Worlds. These are normally a $40 set and these are on sale for $25. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what I've found so far. I am leaving one of these in case somebody else wants that Spider-Man. I think I'm gonna pass on the Ninjago. Overall, I haven't had the best luck with Ninjago stuff, so I think I'm gonna pass on these. They did have some other ones down there, but the discounts weren't really that good. So anyways, we're gonna keep rolling. We'll see what else we can find. I'll let you guys know. Guys and gals, we made it to the electronics section. And I actually had to ask where the clearance section was because I was kind of curious. I just wanted to find it really quick. And the lady said that at the end of every aisle on the inside is where they have the clearance stuff here in the clearance section. So, you know, it pays to ask for directions sometimes, not in every case, but in this one for sure. So just kind of scanning through and looking through the stuff that they've got here. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Some of these fig pins are kind of cool, but I've never taken the time to scan these or see if those are worth selling online. Just kind of looking through, it looks like they have a lot of cell phone cases, which they always do. Honestly, I stay away from selling cell phone cases, so that's just me, unless they're like really, really cheap, but overall, I generally don't mess with them. I've scanned these with the Walmart app down here, and none of this stuff is on a really, really good discount. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna pick up any of this stuff over here. Some of my recent videos, I've been finding routers and that kind of stuff on clearance, like this one right here, this is a pretty good deal. This is actually 42 bucks, normally 141. So this is marked down 100 bucks off this right here. And the only listing I found on Amazon, basically it said that uh, this is restricted and I can't sell it. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna pick this up for resale, but if you're looking for routers, stuff like that, make sure you check out your local store because you could find some really good deals. This Razor thing is not cheap enough. They've got surge protectors, which are always good to protect your electronics. This thing is kind of interesting. This is a uh, Walmart exclusive VHS case, but I think it's actually a toy in here. See, it says Walmart exclusive right there, and it's selling on Amazon for like 70, but Walmart has it for 50. So there's not really a big discount there, but I always like looking for exclusive stuff. So keep an eye out for exclusive stuff when you're shopping at different stores. Again, they've just got more surge protectors. I've seen these keyboards on sale before, but they're 60 bucks. So they're not an amazing deal here in the electronics section. But, you know, you never know. That's why we always take the time to look and go up and down and scan everything. So I'm going to check out the toys, see if we can find anything else. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I found another clearance section to check out. Atlantic Storm Chaser. Not really sure what the heck this thing is, like a battery power weather light, whatever. It's kind of cool. 40 bucks survival radio. Sorry, if I read, that would help. They've got some iPad cases, which I don't really need. Looks like they've got some i Nintendo Switch cases that are like nine bucks. That's not terrible. And they've got more routers down here. This one is 93, was 200, so it's 100 bucks off. Here's another one of those. It's 100 bucks off, 40 bucks off. Netgear over there, 60 bucks off. So definitely just take the time to go up and down every single aisle because you never know what you're gonna miss. Generally, I stay away from like Linksys and Belkin products reselling on Amazon because I believe that they have, uh, they do IP complaints, which basically means the company will send you a letter telling you not to sell it. So anyways, even though I found those really good deals, I don't need those and I don't think they're a good idea for me to try to resell. So I'm gonna pass on those, but if you're looking for personal, well, that'd be a good time to look. So as always, I had to go up and down and check all of the Lego in the Lego section. I didn't find anything. I even scanned the ones up top because that's kind of my favorite tip is that always check the ones up top because you never know what you're gonna find up there. Unfortunately, I didn't really find anything worth picking up. Then I got excited and I found a clearance sign and this whole end cap is just clearance Lego. That would be awesome if they were actually on clearance. Now, I've scanned all of these sets 
and some of these should be on sale but none of them are these are some brand new jurassic world sets which I haven't seen the movie yet looking forward to it lego dots those are not on clearance so unfortunately even though it says clearance and there's a sign and an end cap right here none of that stuff's on clearance so kind of a disappointment thanks for letting me down walmart um <laughs> overall it just looks like they've got way too many toys and not enough space but the discounts aren't too amazing they were looking at me as i was uh, standing here talking to myself just some crazy guy talking to a camera hey everybody thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying the video so far i think we've wrapped it up here at walmart i picked up a ton of different lego i did look in the toy section i didn't find anything there i went through the clearance section went to the electronic section nothing too amazing i am very excited about these being 13 bucks instead of 20. these are going to go into storage spider-man sets have done really well for me super mario sets have done really well for me so i got those two i did leave the ninjago sets I didn't mean to grab these because the boxes are a little beat up, so probably gonna put those back. I'm gonna wrap up here. I'm going to check out and then maybe hit a few more stores. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.